In this video, we will show you how you can use SimWriter 2 to produce symbol supported documents. You can start simply by typing. So if I type a sentence like, I like to work in the garden, you will see that after I press space on each of the words, they automatically symbolize. For most words, there's going to be more than one symbol available and these symbol choices will always be displayed in the right hand side of the program. If you want to select an alternative symbol simply click on it in the symbol chooser and you will notice it changes in your sentence. You can go back for each word and see all of the symbol choices in the right hand side. Uh, so for this word instead of having someone sat down writing at a desk it might be more appropriate to select a manual working symbol. So if we select that once again you'll notice it changes in our sentence. You can also choose to turn symbols off for particular words by clicking on this icon here. So if I click that you'll notice the symbol for work has disappeared completely. But again, if I select the symbol that I want it will reappear in the sentence. SimWriter 2 allows you to use the symbol chooser to configure your symbol preferences. So if you would prefer this symbol to appear every time you type the word work you can choose to set it as the default. To do that, if you right click on it in the symbol chooser, a little box will pop up and it will say set this as your default symbol. If you click that, every time you open SimWriter 2 and type the word work, this symbol will appear. SimWriter 2 has a degree of inbuilt intelligence in the form of smart symbolizing, which basically analyzes the text that you type to display the correct symbol. So if I type the sentence Can I drink a drink from a can? You will notice that SimWriter knows the difference between verbs and nouns and displays the correct symbol accordingly. The program can also handle double words. So if I type the sentence, I'm standing at the bus stop. You notice that the program has automatically chosen a more sensible symbol for the double word bus stop. If I want to I can split that back up by clicking in each of the words and selecting a symbol for each of them so bus and stop. But for this example the most appropriate symbol is the double word so I can select that again from my symbol chooser you can also edit the text displayed beneath a symbol so if you wanted to write a document about a cat called Felix you can use the symbol for cat but choose the text beneath it to say Felix to do this is if you click in the text you want to change then either press F11 on your keyboard or click the cat sand button on the top toolbar you'll notice that the original text has been removed and you can now put your replacement text in so if I type Felix and then either press enter on the keyboard or click OK up here you'll notice that it now says Felix underneath the symbol for cat and the program will remember that change so if I type another sentence my cat's name is Felix, you'll see that the program has remembered the change and it will do so for the rest of this document until you close the program down. We will show you how to save that change permanently in a later video. So just very quickly to recap, you can type and symbols will automatically be displayed. The symbol choices will be displayed in the right hand side of the program so you can select an alternative and set a new default by right clicking on these symbols. Smart symbolization will help you display the correct symbols so it will know the difference between verbs and nouns and display the correct symbols accordingly. The program can handle double words but you can choose to split those up again using the symbol chooser. And you can use the cat sam feature along the top toolbar or F11 on your keyboard to change the text that is displayed beneath a particular symbol.